Hey guys, it's Ryan again. Um, I am gonna set this lick tub out. I did shut the tractor off. The last video I was uh, doing with the tractor, um, it uh, was a little too noisy. Anyway, so I'm just gonna use the uh, hydraulic bleed off to be able to dump this thing out. And uh, I'm just putting a uh, little lick tub out. It's 30% protein. I'm just gonna dump this thing out. Should just be able to slide this little thing off right here. Just like that, we'll turn it. Sucker is pretty heavy, it's about 200 pounds. Take this little film off. It just keeps, helps keep the moisture out of it a little bit. And, uh, yep, we're gonna um, head back up there. We'll get the feed and everything um, ready to go. Get off of it, babe. And uh, I will get back with y'all in just a minute, man. Thanks for watching, guys. As I'm back, uh, I'm just going to show you the salt block here and show you this white one. I'm not going to be able to do this by hand. I don't have a tripod with me today. Um, but I'm just going to show you these two here. I'm just pulling them out. And then I will get back with y'all when I get them put off in this uh, trough here. So I will see y'all in just a minute. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm about to bring the tractor down the hill and we're going to fill this barrel up. guys you'll be able to hear me a little better all i'm gonna do is i got a little bit of feed left over from last last time we got feed i'm just gonna use some of these little small buckets and uh empty it into these so we can use it first these buckets can be a pain to get off sometimes <laughs>
looking on this other side where this uh, rope is at. <clears throat> so if it just starts taking off and starts dumping a lot, I'll be able to uh, close it off. Shake it around a lot because it'll just all pile up on one side and then you'll have a whole bunch of it that still needs to be like settled out. So I just shake it about halfway. I'm about halfway full of the barrel right now. Um, and you've got to watch that sack. It'll slowly just start getting smaller and smaller. Um, as we start dumping out, it'll start making it a little longer too. If it's not so wide, it'll start dropping down. Maybe not this barrel, probably the second one, it'll do it for sure. Top it off. I don't need a lot. I only need about probably five pounds of feed to top it off. And I'd rather top it off now so I don't have to bring feed out, you know, as soon. I hear that tractor talking to me. It's uh, pretty heavy. In case if it did open up, it'll at least turn it sideways so it'll slow it down. It won't just dump out of there immediately. But um, 
I'm going to head on to the next one. So we will see y'all in just a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to fill this barrel up, and then we'll see how much feed we got left. It should be, I'd say, 300 pounds, enough for another barrel, maybe maybe 400, somewhere around there. But anyways, I'll uh, see y'all in just a minute. Just keep on watching. Thanks for watching, guys. There's about plum full there. It's just about as full as it can get. So. Close that right there. And uh, I am going to fill this, uh, fill it a little white bucket up too, just because uh, these guys get fed at least two scoops more every day. So uh, they do run out faster. That's actually what I had to do earlier. I had to get some out of that bucket up top so I could uh, feed these guys. Look, let me get this on here. water trough off. I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I'm turning that water trough off. Let me fill this last buck. We should be good to go, I believe. Alright, I'm going to back up a little bit and put that lid on. And then uh, I'm going to call it a day, guys. Um, if you haven't, please like, subscribe. Um... I'd really appreciate it, man. Uh, I hope y'all really like this video, going to the co-op and getting feed and stuff like this. And maybe it's showing you some way you could do it a little, a little easier. Before we just brought bucket or barrels up there, and it seemed like we were going up there every week. And it finally got to a point. I said, man, we need to uh, borrow a tractor or something. Or actually, the first one we got, we decided to go bulk because it was so much cheaper uh, instead of you know spending. 30 or 40 dollars in diesel to go there and back it's about 30 miles or so give or say um so we decided why don't we just get a thousand pounds 
and we thought we would maybe use a chain hoist or something, but we started looking at it. There's nowhere really to tie off unless we went off to one of these uh, beams above this, uh, these gates, these little, I don't know, I guess they're just tops on them. Um, and I started looking at them. I said, man, I think we're going to bend them, um, you know, and the chain hoist would be too short to get it out of the back of one of our trucks. So, um, but anyway, so we did end up hand unloading a whole 1,000 pounds. And man, it was a very tiring um, decision to do that. Let's just say that. Uh, it probably took us about an hour, to, me and uh, my brother-in-law, about an hour. We're doing one bucket at a time, scooping one bucket, hand it to a guy. He's dumping it in a bucket. And, and then we had to go and... Uh, we put the two buckets in the back of the side by sides. We didn't have a tractor then. Um, and then we had to bring them down here and slide them off um, the side by side full at 300 something pounds a piece. So yeah, that was a blast. But anyways, I hope it's not getting too dark. Um, hope you can still see me, but I appreciate y'all um, sticking around and I hope you really like this if you did or you wanna see something else next time you go to the co-op. Just comment, let me know what you want to see, and please like, subscribe, turn the uh, bell button, notification button on so you can get a notification every time I go live or, um, or post a video. And um, you can uh, also, I'm working on a Facebook page, H&B Family Farms, um, and I'm probably going to get an Instagram page too just because I can post a lot of pictures a lot faster than loading videos. So... Um, yeah, look for me on there. If I'm not on there yet, um, I just got the H&B uh, email address and everything like that. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm working a little at a time. And uh, hopefully I'll have the Facebook probably in the next week. Uh, probably about the time this video is posted, um, I'll, I'll have that Facebook page up. And then hopefully I'll have the Instagram page after that. And, um, yeah, we should be good to go. So... Um, like I said, if you're around Canton area or something and you, you need a good place to, uh, you know, purchase your livestock feed or maybe you're buying a tractor supply, I mean, I, we, we kind of started doing that at the beginning and it's just too expensive per bag. I mean, it's just, I mean, you're, you, uh, to get a thousand pounds, you're saving right at about, um, five bags, the price of five bags it, when you're buying it in bulk rather than, uh, so let's say a bag is, uh, seven dollars. Um, uh, seven times five is, uh, 30, 35. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Uh, so that's really paying my fuel bill right there to go to the co-op and go back and I get extra feed. So, you know, if you are doing it, man, if that works for you, that works for you. Maybe you don't have enough feed, you know, maybe you don't have enough, uh, you know, uh, uh, cattle. Um, and the co-op does do a 750 pound minimum on their bulk feed just because they got to have a guy go out there and, I think just this 1,000 pounds of feed, it's right at 15 cents a, a pound. It's about $150 for 1,000 pounds of feed. Um, and we're feeding, I don't know, probably, uh, let's see, 12, 25, feeding about 50 pounds per day. So that's lasting us right at about, uh, give or say, I'd say 18 days. It should do about 20, but when it gets cold, we do add some extra uh, just to help them with their feed and everything or with their uh their fat content and stuff like that but anyway guys i'm uh it's getting dark and i'm ready to go home and get some dinner so uh hope y'all have a good one and um like i said can't wait to uh hear y'all's comments on this video and if you got any like i said uh got any um uh ideas man I, I'm, I'm always i'm open ears on ideas you know there's, there's a reason uh god gave us one mouth and two ears uh, I, I believe in listening a lot more than I do uh, talking. Uh, I know you may not think that because on this video, all I do is talk, but that's kind of the point of this video. So I appreciate it though, guys, and um, I will see y'all next time. Thanks. Bye.